Okay, David, you also told me that this is this painting has a connection to Whistler as well. Can you talk about that? Yes, it, it does. Um, Whistler was a painter that, again, in my estimation, he was way ahead of his time. And most people associate Whistler with the portrait of Whistler's mother, which was really a study in, in shape of shapes in gray, black, and white. And as the story goes, Whistler wanted his mother to uh, stand up for the portrait. And uh, she was real old and she just said, look, I can't stand up that long. So he said, okay, well, he put her in a chair. And when he put her in a chair, the gown that she was wearing took up a completely different shape. So he changed the background so that you were looking at really a minimalist painting of shapes. Again, way ahead of his time. Well, years later, Whistler started painting fireworks at night. And he did one called a uh, composition in black and gold, The Falling Rocket. And it was basically a dark, almost black field with tiny dots of gold all over a section of the painting. And at this point, there was a critic named John Ruskin who already didn't like Whistler's work and lambasted him uh, as an art critic, who saw the, these paintings by Whistler and he said this particular painting, The Falling Rocket, was, quote, throwing painting a pot of paint in the public's face, unquote. Well, that made Whistler angry. He, he felt that Ruskin didn't understand his painting. And he tried to describe it to him, and Ruskin didn't want to hear about it. So Whistler sued him for libel. In the process, by the time um, Whistler was done, he was basically penniless. And he died in London in 1903. This is my painting of Nocturne, and really, it's, it's inspired by Whistler. It's far different than Whistler's paintings of Nocturnes, but um, I think what makes this painting special is the process. And if you touch this painting, it's sharp. There's a lot of jagged surfaces, and I would start with my base color, and kind of like the painting with the grog, I covered the canvas with broken eggshells. And then I started these little dots of color in a very systematic formulaic uh, arrangement. And the trick on this painting was after all the dots were put in place, I mixed up a blue-black paint and thickly painted the entire canvas. And then with a squeegee, pulled the paint off the high surfaces and you get this beautiful, which you can't see, but these drips that run down around the edge, which are, to me, nicer than a frame. But as the, what I didn't realize was when you put that much acrylic, the black acrylic on top of the surface, um, it starts to dry pretty darn fast. And I could hardly work fast enough to pull the dark paint off of all the dots to reveal some of the color. And what I learned was I should have put a retardant in my dark paint and I would have had more time. So what I ended up doing in the studio is licking my thumb and working on each little dot and then and the jagged eggshells were just eating up this, my skin. But little by little, the, the dots started to reveal themselves. But anyway, the inspiration for this came from uh, Whistler's Nocturnes.